is Jabali Manav from Civil Center and I welcome also back to our channel. So friends, we model a complete building model in Techless Textile Designer. We had imported take the file in the previous video. If you want to see that video, you can see the link uh, is in, uh, within the link which is given, given in the description. And you can find out that video because this had two separate you know plans in the two separate floors, ground floor and the first floor, which is different. So we're going to make this model in Techless Textural Designer G Plus 2 building model and we're going to start now. So firstly we're going to go to the structure base and define our columns here and uh, we're going to go with uh, columns of size 230 to 230. Here we're going to go 230 across 230 and uh, FE 500 is going to be our column size. And after that, we'll just define our columns in all the positions where we have already marked before. So you can press Ctrl plus Z and we can just uh, see the sizes again in terms of the automatic alignment. And after that, save this column size as uh, your C230 cross 230 and then cross close this. And now it will be placed at the center. And after that, we'll see the columns here. These are the columns which are there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 number of columns, 900 square feet area. So these are the columns which are present here. And after defining the column, checking the structure 3D, you can rotate the model using the right button of your cursor. This is the model, and these are the columns. So let's start by assigning the beams. First of all, we'll go to the beam here and we'll take the beam of let's say size 230 cross 300. This is the beam size which you'll take, and after taking the beam size, let's define the secondary beams single click. And uh, we can also save this particular value as well. Let's go here, FP500, FP500, and save this. Uh, we'll save this B 230 uh, cross 300, and we'll save this. So, single click and double click beams here, single click and double click. So after that, also remaining beams also. Let's assign it. Here we have a secondary beam right here. Going from here to here. And let's check whether any beam is remaining. This one for the staircase. And go from here to here and after that we will click on escape and define the properties of this before that we will go to design and check the settings of the reinforcement uh, this is for the footings this is for the beams reinforcement size is 10 and 16 and uh, for the columns it is 12 and 16 so it's, we are good with this so let's go and check the Releases. So we'll double click on this, both ends are pinned, releases, no column on both sides, pinned, this also has no columns on both sides, releases, pinned and pinned, this also has no columns on both sides, so this also has releases as pinned, so make this releases as pinned, this one also same thing, releases as pinned and pinned and ok. This one also let's go and make this releases as your pinned. Now this one also have the releases as your pin. So after having done that, now you can just go back to model and take the beams and take this particular size and assign the main beams like this. So the beams have been assigned and after the beams have been assigned we can check in the structure 3D. The all the beams here, go to structure 1 and reassign all the beams, select the beams here and select the structure B into 300 or else what we can do, 
let's uh, do one thing uh, we can import this and later we'll delete everything which is not required go to construction levels and take this uh, let's take these beams from this level uh, make them back as your uh, unique and click on ok and after we have clicked on ok we'll go back to the structure one check whether this is this level is unique okay this level is unique so no worries about that so let's uh, i can see all the remaining components are same only we have uh, secondary beam here so we'll take the beam and uh, we're taking the beam we have a secondary beam here and we'll have a secondary beam here so let's delete this beam for accuracy better accuracy so we'll have beams and we'll have this same arrangement for this beam single click double click single click double click so these beams are done here okay i think we had skipped this center line no worries we have it at the right place here and uh, after having done that uh, we will just change the so releases here to pint pint ok so for this also you can take another beam beams take this beam and uh, for this size also I think we have to delete this again and assign the beams beams size of 300 this and this take the beams again size to 300 and assign this so we can assign this since the wall load is here only we can check the plan so this is the plan the wall load is here only so uh, this beam is also optional so we'll provide this beam anyway and here we might provide a concealed beam for this portion so so after this beam we will design and this one will uh, extend it in the structural drawing and provide the concealed beam so that portion we can do or else we can just do it here and uh, see later what happens okay so these are the components which have been done here and after having done that let's go to the structure 3d and check the structure here so this is the structure which is present here so we'll go to structure 1 and assign our slabs here so slabs will be everywhere and in this portion I think we have a cut off here let me just check so we have a cut out here so the beam will go this particular beam will go from here to here and for that let me just let us check whether anything else is remaining in this particular option so nothing is remaining here overall so let's assign our slab before that let's check uh, whether the Validation is something wrong. There is some member intersection probably in this. There will be the member intersection. So let's do this from here to here. I hope this will be solved. And it is still remaining in one v4. So this is one v2, and uh, this is one v4. So I think this also we need an intersection here. So now if we check, now it is solved. So the problem has been solved now just go and assign the slabs here and uh, apart from the staircase portion let's assign slabs everywhere just to consider the loads so these are the uh, slab items which have been copied let's complete the model go to construction levels make them to as your one and make them back as unique Just go to the base and apply the loads of the paint level, dead loads, loading, full UDL. Okay, we'll apply let's say 10 on the outer walls. These are the 5 inch walls. You must know that. UDL. And also go to the full UDL and the 5 for the internal walls in the print level so if you check the plan everywhere there is 
you can see here everywhere there is I have four inch one so here we can provide you know I think load everywhere of five liters so just press ctrl plus z and apply five kilometer load everywhere so checking the structure 3d so this is done in the structure base we'll apply full UDL of five kilometer per meter everywhere since all the walls here are of four inches so the load will also be less if you want to know how to calculate the load of the walls you can just comment below and i'll send you the link for the video to that so that you can calculate the loads of the walls accordingly in the different conditions also so it's five and done so now let's go to the next level and assign our loads here uh, full udl of five oh no, this level dead and then go to this load option full udl of five just apply this Uh, I think don't need think you need to apply here. All the remaining portions will apply. Here I think in the full of one we don't need to apply here, we don't definitely need to apply here also need to apply. And here as you can see there won't be any load here, only there will be some uh, load here so in this portion if you don't apply then it's okay so we'll take udl and a single click and then single click it's this much and we haven't taken the you know entry bar because uh, there is all anyway uh, there is a uh, very less span so we'll provide by default design here and since this particular design has happened uh, what we'll do we'll just go to model construction levels and make them back as unique we forgot to make the back as unique so the offload has to be redone right now so we'll select this loads delete this all the loads deleted now we can assign the load in the top floor before that we'll go to the structure one and select the imposed loads and uh, go to scene content i can turn off the slabs or otherwise go simply go to load here and uh, level load of your two kilometer per meter so this is a residential building so we have that particular load as you can see here in post now we'll copy it to the next level model construction levels and this can be copied to the next level we'll do this as one and okay so this copy to the next level we'll quickly go and make them as unique and click on ok so we'll go to the topmost floor structure 3 and uh, here we'll define our loads loads here are dead loads let's apply full UDL of Five in the staircase portion. Uh, UDL select 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 select. And after that, full UDL of your two. Here we can apply this particular loading, and if you are the last portion, I think that the cantilever will be there, there like this, so it will be applied in the cantilever portion. So, in this portion, you don't need that. So, go to structure 3D. Okay, let's apply the imposed load also. Imposed, and you take the uh, level load 2 kN per meter square. So, taking the level load here, and we'll just click the none here, and also see the dead load. So dead loads and the live loads have been applied in the building so we will go simply apply the seismic load so for applying the seismic load we need to go to seismic wizard and uh, next and then structure base there is a plinth level importance factor of 1 for the residential buildings we used this model response spectrum analysis and uh, this is a moment resisting frame moment frame system and next and then shift select this and take concentration of the live loads and the dead loads and then click on finish after that in this scenario go to operating next and all the limited combinations have been selected finish this and after that we'll go to design 
and you can simply select your design or static. Before that, you can validate the model, check everything is okay or not, and you can also define the load combination. Go to load, select the combinations, generate operating. Next, select the limited combinations and click on next, next, finish, and okay. So, after that, you go to design and you go to design all static. So, like this, the building can be designed.